I want to bring in those traffic accidents and look at those uh, inside of InfraWorks. So the way that I add that data is I go to my data sources and up here in my data sources dialog, I can pick right here on add ArcGIS data source. All right. And I have to log into Esri. All right. So I'm going to put in my username and my password. All right. And I log in and you're going to see a different UI. And the UI is going to look a little bit like what we've been used to seeing in ArcGIS. You're going to see the outline of your model. So this is the extents of my model. All right. And you're going to see everything under my content. OK. But we can add this data accordingly here in the connector. So I'm just going to pick Denver demo traffic accidents and you can see that this is the actual map. All right, so I zoom in and it gives me a preview of what those look like. That's why it zoomed back. Now that preview is only in the sandbox. All right, so you need to remember that it should be out in the next release of, of InfraWorks, but you can see the outline of our InfraWorks model and you can start to preview how much is going to be inside of that. So you can see there's a lot of traffic accidents that have been documented in their GIS data. So the way we're going to visualize this inside of InfraWorks is we're going to set this to a point of interest. All right. Once you've selected how it's going to be styled and what type of data that is, is coming in inside of InfraWorks, then you just hit add to my design project and it connects to ArcGIS and then generates those layers from ArcGIS online. And I can see there are a lot of point of interest dots. All right. A lot of them. All right. And that's because this is downtown Denver and there's evidently a lot of accidents down here. But we can visualize that inside of InfraWorks.